Hello everyone, this is Keith Ritual, and as like I said in my previous video, I was going to do a review on some vintage goth corsets. The first one I got is this Draven corset. Um, you can find these at VintageGoth.com. And it comes with this little decals on it that strap around. And this is a size 26, I believe. Um, and it wraps around and it's a men's cut so it goes straight underneath the ribcage and I've been wearing these daily for work um, I usually wear, I was wearing this one at first because it's the first one I got in the mail um, this is actually very comfortable and it fits me just right it makes me feel like I'm being hugged the whole time if you want to say it that way so and it also comes with suspenders that I even keep on at work because I just but it has to go under my shirt because I'm not allowed to wear this at work. Like on the outside to be visible, so I just wear it underneath my shirt and that's okay with them. Uh, the next one I got is the Ethel Green Corset, which is solid white. And that one has a zipper uh, thing, but this one is uh, an actual waist trainer with 20 bones, unlike the other one which is 10 bones. And you can see it's double bone and has the clasps, five clasps. and. It, it's quite comfortable, but I think when I wore it, like it gets dirty really easily, first of all. I got a little bit of makeup on it accidentally, somehow on the strings. And the only thing that I have a problem with, with the strings, is that they resemble shoelaces too much. Like not the fact that it's like just the way it looks, it's the fact that they both have, in, uh, I, what's the word? I know the word, little, little tips of the shoelace, the aglet, aglet, or something like that. And I just, and it really bothers me a little bit because it just, it's a shoe, it's pretty much a shoelace. And like, but they're still pretty sturdy, the, the strings. So I'm not like extremely pissed off about it. And, but for some reason when I wore that, it was hurting my left hip because all of the weight was going to my left hip. I thought I was maybe like wearing it off center. So like near the end of my shift at work, I just sort of pulled it off from underneath my shirt, which I just like sort of stuck my hand, like unclasped it underneath my shirt and like pulled it out. Why? Well, like I loosened it first. Would recommend never just unhooking a corset when it's still tight. I always loosen mine and stick it out of my hand. But I always wear a shirt underneath the corset because I just don't like how it feels like on the skin. The next one I got is the Ketura corset. It's like a very tan gear like, and it comes with clasps, um, like bronze um, hinge clasps or whatever you want to call them, like this. And I was I wore this the day after I wore the white one. I haven't worn, and um, I think my hip was still hurting. But with these, it's sort of like you just sort of weigh it on top and push it through the hole. I would not recommend wearing these underneath your clothes or if you wear it really tight like that, like I do, because they're easily just push up and then they just would open. And I don't feel like that would be very dangerous depending on how tight it is because just how painful. And also it's really hard, you have to get this really loose to get it on because unlike the other two, you just have to get them like mostly loose. With this has to be really loose, otherwise overlapping while pushing down is very difficult to do. I found that out and I'm like, crap, I have to loosen this more and more and more until it was like, would go through. But yeah, um, because of that, i wearing these mainly for like when I go to the clubs or whatever. I'm probably gonna be wearing the black one for the clubs and for when I just go out like regularly. Like, I usually wear it all day, but I don't sleep in it. I just, like, sort of wear it when I'm out and about. Always have it on. Um, that's more of, like, uh, my black, my Draven corset is probably going to be more of my um, everything corset. And these are going to be, like, when I go out and for design purposes mostly. And including that one because that one has a cool design as well. It just, it fits me better. I feel like I want to say that. But I really do enjoy these corsets. I really find them unique. And currently, as far as um, these corsets, the, wait, let me make sure. They're still $40 each, but the Draven corset is $109, I think. 
and it's hundred and something dollars for the Draven corset, but these are 40 each currently. Normal price is a hundred, but they're having a sale right now. So if you want one of those, go check it out, and I will see you all next time. Bye! I hope you enjoyed my long talk about corsets. It went on a little bit longer than I expected, but totally go get those, and I will see you all next time with probably another, I'm trying to go back with makeup video every other week, every other video, whatever. So I hope to have that out in a few days. But I will see you all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and even leave a comment. And check out my other videos. Because people liked my Punisher body paint that I did last time. And if you want to see that, just click the previous button, uh, previous video button. And I will see you all next time. Bye.